Hey everyone, it's Upnorth Collectors here. We're opening up 2022 Tops Update Series. These are blister packs from Meyer. You get two purple parallels in each pack. We got 12 of these to open up. We got more to open up too, so we may do more in a future video or a short or something like that. Uh, but you can get uh, all the top rookies out of this in the purple parallels, and they're very sought after. If you're familiar with the old school version, it would have been Toys R Us that carried these. Um, and now it's Meyer. Oop, my backdrop's falling off. Uh, they are uh, $3.99 at Meyer, and you get two purples and then you get the one pack. So let's see what we get out of these purple. By the way, thanks for helping us reach 21,000 subscribers. Um, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, we uh, have uh, definitely have you guys to thank for because without you we would be just making videos for ourselves so thanks a lot um, please hit that like button um, and comment below uh, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already but here's a nice one right off the bat uh, 100 career home runs of tani and behind that a uh, tapia so you i think it's the whole uh, complete base set in here uh, the 330 cards that you get uh, out of this so we'll open up uh, the packs here. We do have a numbered card in there already, so let's see what we get there. Maybe we can pull a monster out of one of these three ninety nine dollars packs. Um, just going to kind of buzz through all the base cards you've seen a million times, but let's see. There's a Kirby and no, not bad. Nick Lodolo. Um, this is going to be a red, so nice color match. Uh, Nick Lodolo set him up back if my little blister pack doesn't fall over. All right, and then we have uh, the two inserts there. So the MLB um, stars, or stars of the MLB, and then the 87 Vlad. All right, so let's see what we get next out of the next one. Uh, hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, Luke is busy at his shop. Oh, I thought for a second here this was gonna be Pena. This is uh, Perez, so Joe Perez. Uh, and behind that, we have a uh, Taylor Hearn. All right, so not a Pena, but let's see what we get out of the pack. Yeah, so Luke is um, doing his Black Friday sale at a shop. So if you're in the area, definitely check that out. A lot of good stuff on sale. There's a Wander Franco rookie debut. Um, and I know he is very busy there uh, today. So we got another parallel matt olson and it's going to be a gold number to 2020 so well, not bad put matt olson out back but i'm sitting him on my base stack so that doesn't really help um trying to make these videos and placing cards in certain places is always more tricky than one would think all right, let's open up the next pack. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Did some Black Friday shopping today. Um, maybe found a few good deals on cards. I know that Blowout, DA, Steel City, all those places did deals. Um, there's a nice one, uh, Alec Thomas. Uh, that's the rookie debut, a purple, so not bad. Um, we will. I'll show you the stack that we get at the end. Once again, this is 12 packs. $3.99 each at Meyer. They have a sale going on. Buy one, get one, 50% off. Uh, so that is a nice savings. Um, but still, even without that, um, if you just pay full price, if you have to pay full price for them, they're still a good deal. Um, hard to beat. All right, so what do we have here? We have a blue, and we have a blue Anderson uh, Servino, and behind that, a Bryson Stott. All right, so the blues are nice. Um, if you pull a uh, Julio uh, or one of the other top rookie blues, you'll definitely um, be happy because those fetch a fair amount of money. I think we sold our blue um, Julio that we pulled off camera for like around 100 bucks, so not bad at all. All right, let's see who we have here. We have another rookie, and this update set is loaded with rookies um, Montero. And behind that, a Luke uh, Maley. All right, so seems like the rookies in this batch are in the front. Let's find out what we have in this pack. We will be selling uh, complete sets uh, on my eBay store. I'll be selling them on my eBay store. So check out the link below. 
Uh, you'll see Mike's eBay store down there, and that's me. Uh, so we'll ha hopefully have those up later today or, worst case, tomorrow. There's a All-Star game and a Bobby Witt Jr. stars of the MLB. All right, nothing too crazy out of that one, but the first few had nice parallels in them. Um, here we have, oh, this is a good one. Uh, this card is pretty collectible. Ace is up, probably like a $5 card, I'm guessing. Um, and then we have an Adam Frazier. Wrong Mariner there. There's a lot of Mariners in the set, so you can get a little excited um, and not pull uh, the Julio that you're hoping for. I haven't seen a base Julio yet out of these packs, but there's a Pena rookie debut. Um, but once again, I'm kind of flying through these. Um, you probably have heard by now about the Topps um, buyback program. If you bought Chrome and you have an Aaron Judge base card or Aaron Judge parallel, there's a Seiya Suzuki um, insert and generation now. That's halfway decent. Um, if you have a Aaron Judge base or a parallel or a Paul Goldschmidt, um, you can redeem those at participating card shops for uh, $20 for the base card. Uh, and uh, there's a nice C.J. Abrams rookie debut, uh, and uh, more for the parallels. And the Tops has all the details on their website. Uh, you can probably find it all over social media. If I remember when I post this video, um, and when I go to publish it, I will try to remember to add that to the description. Uh, but you can you can find it uh, pretty easily. But that's Tops Chrome only from this year, 2022 of Aaron Judge, and. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt, both MVP winners, American and National League. All right, so we do have a flipped over card here. Let's see who this is. It's a Matt, uh, Nick Plummer, and it's going to be a vintage stock. So, hey, pretty nice. So we got a red, a vintage stock, a uh, gold, and a blue so far, and a couple good rookies. Yeah, these packs definitely um, <laughs> kind of pay for themselves most of the time. A lot of people resell these packs um, for a decent amount of money. I am going to rip them um, just because I'm collecting the set and the chances of pulling something big out of a pack for $3 or $4, it's kind of hard to beat. Um, off camera, I pulled a, there's a this Alex uh, Gatti, got, got I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he is all over these packs right now. Um, I did pull two pretty sweet cards off camera um, out of update. Uh, one was out of a hanger box, and it was a Manny Machado um, All-Star Game patch autograph number to 10. You can see that up on my eBay store. I'll try to bring that card to the next break to show you guys. But that was amazing. That was out of a hanger box. And then out of a blaster box pulled a printing plate, magenta printing plate, of Bautista for the um, Orioles. So uh, not bad. Uh, Hunter Renfro and nice. There we go. Jeremy Pena. All right. So that's what we're looking for. I don't know what those go for. Maybe 50 bucks, maybe 75. I have no idea. I'm guessing somewhere in that range, but uh, be careful not to get the edges there, but put Jeremy out back. We sleeved him up, protected him. Um, but that actually looks pretty well centered. It's off a little bit, uh, but not too bad. Did get a couple cards back from grading. Got a Bobby Witt base numbered to, uh, or nine and number two. Uh, Bobby Witt base that was graded 9.5 with SGC. And then a uh, Julio uh Number two, or number two, uh, graded at uh, a 9.5 as well. And that was also a base. And then I got a Julio um, number t or 10. It was a 10 on 1987. Uh, oh, all SGCs. So those are all up on my eBay store too. Check out Luke's eBay, eBay store as well. Um, we try to make everything as uh, competitive as possible with um, free shipping, or not free shipping, but cheap shipping. Um, so there's a rookie, this guy, I don't know anything about him, but he seems to be in a lot of stuff, a lot of my packs. Um, yeah, but check out our source, try to really, um, 
want to deal our cards, move them out of there fast. Uh, and I'm sure you do as well out of your own eBay stores if you have one. All right, so check out those cards if you're interested in any graded cards of some of the top rookies with SGC. And a Stephen Kwan rookie debut. Behind that, an Alec Thomas and Dansby Swanson, followed by a Javier Baez. So we got three packs to go. I'm pretty pleased so far. We got that C.J. Abrams rookie debut and the Jeremy Pena base, um, which is a, a, obviously more sought after than the rookie debut behind this one. We do have a rookie, but it's Tommy Romero. All right. Well, once again, guys, uh, please hit that like button. Comment below. Would you like to see another uh, one of these videos? Uh, Julio Rodriguez. Try to get more of these cards if I can. Uh, they are very sought after. People are buying them up everywhere and for good reason. So if I can get them, I will try to do another uh, video. I Like I said, I do have some left, so maybe I'll save them for another video if you like that. Or throw them into some shorts or something of that nature. Uh, we have something here. I don't know what that is. Um, let's take a look. Is this oh a generation now? This is a number. This could be black. Yep, black. So that's not bad. I've been selling a lot of uh, Jose Miranda cards. So um, that's not bad. Uh, numbered Jose Miranda to two ninety nine. Yeah, so who knows? Oh, by the way, if I didn't show these already, which I don't think I did, um, take a look. There are the odds on the back. All right, we got a rookie here, but it is not the rookie we are looking for. Uh, and behind that, an Archie Bradley. So one more pack after this one. Thanks again for watching. What is this, another Julio? Back-to-back -back Julios? All right. Got a whole bunch of those. Um, not really sure what to do with those at the moment. They made so many of those cards that they're just, I just don't know long term they'll have any value at all. Um, a Juan Soto, and then the Julio Rodriguez stars in the MLB. All right, last pack. Let's see what we can pull out of here. Overall, didn't hit anything. I mean, it wasn't like monstrous, but <laughs> that. Uh, Pena. Oh, nice. Alec Thomas. That's not bad. And be another rookie behind there. No, not another rookie. All right. So let's see what this last pack holds. Back to back to back. Julio Rodriguez uh, sitting on the back of these packs, the stars of the MLB. Uh, that'll take that any day. Looks like we have a black gold in the back here. Let's hope it's a Julio, Bobby Witt. Uh, no, it is a Bo Bichette. Not bad, but still, not the guy we're looking for. All right, so a little recap here. Here are all of our inserts. Um, and a, a parallels in there. Uh, and the backdrop, I'll move Matt Olson over. You can see Matt Olson, the Nick Lodolo. This is a vintage stock. And then the Jeremy Pena. And then here are all of our purples. So you get two per um, highlights here. Obviously that Pena, the CJ Abrams, that's a nice card. Uh, the ace is up. That's pretty sought after. Um, we did also pull the Alec Thomas rookie debut and the Otani 100 career home runs. Uh, so... Uh, overall, pretty good break, especially considering the cost. Uh, not an expensive break at all. 12 packs, uh, 4 bucks a pack. Um, so not expensive whatsoever and a lot of fun and huge potential for that price point. All right, guys, let me know if you found these at your local Meyer. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have fun collecting. We will see you in the next video.